Uh, what's going on people of the vlog and welcome back to the channel so today um, like really like I was waiting for this day a long time so yeah I feel really blessed thanks for all the support so we have our first customer for air suspension in a few days this mp200 is gonna be on the floor so stay in tune for that but before that I have another client here so two clients I'm busy with um, the guy that installed this coil overs installed it wrong and messed up a lot of stuff, not gonna get into that. But yeah, let me finish up with the polo, then I'll catch you up once I'm done. Hey, so we just... Yeah, yeah. Just finished up the polo. Just installed it properly. Adjusted it a bit. He needs new tires, smaller tires, so I can, like, you know, slam it completely. I don't want him to get bacon fenders with this, like, uh, uh, but it looks nice. Looks like a, a proper drive height. Looks quite nice. As you can see, it's dropping. Are you happy? Oh, yeah, yeah. thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, no stress, no stress. Yeah, so stay tuned. Fest is around the way. excited for that yeah so most of the stuff we're doing from now on is gonna be for first I need money for first so that's why I have to ask also guys if you need any air suspension coilovers you know where to come to yeah man let me know just did a quick unboxing for you guys so yeah man like I said earlier this guy bought like the really expensive stuff so as you see he's going with the ice system this remote looks really it looks better than the caster air one and it has the pulse function also for that tss, 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 that tss, tss, tss effect yeah this is the struts it looks really short man so I'm sure the fronts are gonna go really low and he chose to go with the billows like he really wanted the the best you can get so we have to build brackets for the rear bags so stay tuned for that DIY brackets bought by DLS and then you went with the aluminium steamless tank so yeah no rust from that tank and it looks pretty neat yeah so mm, hope you guys stay tuned for this vlog it's gonna be an Easter run yeah man first is coming there's gonna be Easter too People of the blog, uh, Ralesh, I just wanted to show you guys the new daily low mascots. Zeus! 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 You also want to walk in the car. Hey, get away! Set! 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 Go fight with the dog by the wall or something, man. of the vlog as you see it's a new day uh yeah man the weather wasn't that great this morning no blue skies just gray skies but it's nice like this it's nice to work in this weather instead of sweating your balls off yeah so uh i got here around eight got to my dad around eight i had an early start because i had to we didn't do much yesterday like i said and we had to strip um, one of the rear shocks of the NP200 because um, our, someone is coming to pick up the shock for our customer so we can take it back to our supplier 
and see if he maybe a short term shocks. So he just he just needs a sample. Yeah, so because the customer wants full outlaws, so you need new shocks. I don't think those standard shocks are gonna work. And then yeah man, let's start the day. Keep it locked. Plan to we plan to run the all the the airlines underneath the bucket. It's just gonna be easier and more neater than taking off um, panels and trying to squeeze it through panels and stuff like that. So that's the safest route we found. So we're gonna go with that. Yeah, man. I'll I'll show you how it looks when we're done. You know, you have to make it neat. Okay. What's happening, people of the blog? Yeah, man. So. Uh, we done running airlines. It's been like an hour and a half or so. So let me just show you what we did. So as you see, we have airlines coming through here. We draw the hole just underneath a um, wiring harness goes through here through the back. So I'm assuming. So yeah, it goes underneath the car comes down comes out here and then goes the other bags airline goes on the subframe running with the brake line goes to the other side so yeah most of uh, most of our airlines are running with the brake lines as you see over here goes under the dash goes up there then comes in here we ran it with a power cable power cable runs here when we get the fuse and probably a lug and then it runs with the brake lines here's the airlines running with the brake lines Here's the other airline going down there, running with the brake line. So, we pretty much did a neat job, I must, if I do say, if I do say so myself. Yeah, so, um, I'm gonna start with the, the front struts now. Sorry if this footage is a bit, yeah, and there, yeah, and there. But, yeah, keep it locked. Um, we're still waiting for this guy to come and pick up the shock. I don't know how long or what time he's gonna be. I should message him soon. And then, yeah. So unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to air this puppy down today because uh, one of the shocks are gonna be missing. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, let me get back to work. Okay, so I need these bad boys to take the mounts off. So I need to compress the spring with those clamps. I just took them off Riley's uh, standard springs. You were even lazy to take it off. It takes hell along. Maybe we had that air gun too, you know, those nice ones. Yeah, maybe that would have been nice, but I have to use the ratchet. So it takes a while. Let me get that off because I need the top mount and then I'll start putting in the front struts. Yeah, keep it light. Okay, finally done. It didn't take as long. Okay, as you can see the spring. The spring is loose. So it should come off. None of that way, you know, the mounting hits someone, the spring flies that way, the shock flies that way, you know those videos. So yeah, gotta have the right tools for a job. So I'm gonna take that off, start with the front bags. Here we go. Yo, people of the vlog, we ran into some issues um, and just started pouring just now. So, 
yeah, we haven't been working as well. I tried to put the strut together, but the OEM, where is that OEM? Nothing. Here it is. This guy, you see the, the shock shaft with the thread, it's not the same size. So, like, literally. I was turning and turning and turning and turning. It was not going on. It's about to be. So yeah. As you can see. Okay people of the vlog. Uh, as you can see the the brightness for the tank is already on. So that bracket and you have a bracket that goes wraps around the tank and then you just screw it down. Are we gonna go head to the stores quickly to go and find some stuff we missing? So we bought okay this is the lock nuts and then there's other the other ones. These are the other ones. So, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. My father is gonna figure out what he's gonna do with the rear bags. I think I'll sort out the fronts. Where's the other one like this? Side by side comparison. Yeah, man. There is much lower, much, much lower. So yeah, we will see how this turns out. Looks like it's gonna, gonna be slammed, hella slammed. Yeah, so shout out to our first customer. Yeah, so a customer that we installing bags. So all you other guys, yeah man, you know where to come to. People of the vlog, that's how it looks once it's done. Just have to put it in. Make sure your bearing is in there, you don't want to mess up expensive bags. Away people of the vlog. Yeah man, bad news. Um, so the struts that we got is completely incorrect and yeah man so we're not finishing this car today unfortunately okay guys so i put tape on the airbags for things as well i just didn't do this that guy um i'm not gonna put the presser switch in now because we need to solder the cables onto here and then yeah, my father is just busy with one more line for the for the exhaust line. If that makes sense, it's so you can actually hear the dumping. Um, the struts that we got given are not the the, the incorrect ones. So everything regarding struts we can't do. Um, we can maybe put the rear bags in. That's what that's what we can like sort out. Uh, we don't have one rear shock because also yeah, um, our our customer wants um, shortened shocks. So he's also trying to sort that out by our supplier. And then so basically today all we can do is do everything we can without the struts, get everything up and running. So when tomorrow comes, hopefully I'm gonna take the the two uh, shocks that we got, the two struts that are incorrect, take it, and one of the original shocks, just for reference, and then, yeah, they're gonna bring it tomorrow. They're gonna hopefully get it tomorrow morning then come to tomorrow and bring it and we can install it and then that's that so we have to do everything minus that so tomorrow when they come we can just yeah plug in and 
and put in and then yeah they can bake the car basically I wait people of the vlog I just mounted a tank you now looks pretty nice Riley says he wants one of these just I want air suspension <laughs> yeah it looks pretty nice J tank is a thousand eight hundred serious yeah oh okay then it's not that bad yeah for you you have a thousand eight hundred. Not a compressor, you two thousand. Bags ain't cheap, man. I don't know, eating grass or something. Yeah, that's why you have them, huh? From here, standard things. Please do the phone. People of the vlog, I'm yeah. about to make some breakfast yeah. with the yeah. Yeah. Uh, justice wow. from um, the yeah. coil over. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Custom pillow brackets. Okay, this is what we came up with, guys. Hey, hey! As you can see, we use the. No, the, the thing is not right. Eh? What? Deep dusting, yeah? So it will be neat. Can you see? Yeah, but then the wheel. The wheel won't do nothing. Okay. Morning people of the vlog, it's the next day, it's Saturday, the, the 11th, hopefully this is the last time I'll be speaking to you guys, hopefully today we can sort out this back here, so, yo, sorry for the crustiness, Kribo, please come home and cut my hair, dude, if you're watching this, please come cut my hair, anyways, uh, yeah, I dropped off last night, I didn't vlog much, but I dropped off the struts in in Boxburg, so our customer stays in Boxburg, so it's cr uh, quite close to our, our supplier where we got the, the air suspension and stuff like that, so they hopefully gonna go and swap it out this morning for the correct ones, and then we're gonna carry on, we just need... Uh, power cable. We only had four gauge power cable. We need like uh, six or eight power gauge cable for the presser switch. We didn't want to run thick ones like a four gauge cable straight to the presser switch. Otherwise, it's gonna look untidy and messy. So yeah. So as I was saying, yeah, the body's in. We mounted a block. You just need a connect everything the management and the power the lines are sitting underneath this board yeah we done it neatly man oh that's uh, original away people of the vlog yeah man we're making progress um pressure switch is in line is in i just a uh, presser <laughs> i just connected the management as you see there just tape it and yeah, make it neat. Assembly. Yeah. Connect the power cable, put in the airlines, and then yeah, Bob's your uncle. The Louise weighs how to Oh, uh, Riley's your uncle. Yeah, he sent me a diagram. And <laughs> then the Riley's your uncle. Make a baby. Campest. 2K20. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Gotta go PlayStation, man. <laughs> yeah, so things are looking good. Yeah, it we. You wanna hear it? Let's hear. Isn't it? You see us, man. Sounds kind of gay. Hey, you hear the compressor? 
Do you want this one? No, bro, that one just has that rubber things underneath. Mm. I want the whole back bumper by the rates. Okay, so we we were talking. Well, maybe I was a talking. Or all of us were talking. We never we never put the airline from the tank to the the solenoid block. So now we need to swap around the tank because on that side of the tank it has more room for things. Yeah, there's only one which the sw pressure switch goes on. Pressure. The <laughs> so we need to loosen the tank, turn it around, remount it, put the put the fittings back. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna close off the the video for today. Um, gonna fast forward back to Monday, the next club. We just basically fitting in the airlines on the correct places. I need to run. Did it get on? Yeah, it was a bitch to get that airlines on. But yeah. Ow! <laughs> Away people of the vlog. So, it's Monday. Uh, yeah, uh, on Saturday things didn't go as planned. Um, like I, I think I updated you guys, um, the guys got the new struts and everything, but the bags that we have now won't fit on that new struts, so we're waiting on them, they're gonna be here like later this afternoon I'm assuming, cause they can only get the bags lunch time. Guys, we got finally got it connected. Those fittings work perfectly. Only the rear, rear bags are in right now. As you can see, this one is inflated. Just hear that dump. Dump the rear, there. Your red right sounds too nice. Yes. My brand is not in bags. Oh. Not in bags. Oh yeah. You wanna be in the vlog? Me? Yeah. How are you? Oh wait, this is the, the the guy that's getting bags today. <laughs> are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. It's just one thing holding us back. The bolt for the, the rear shock doesn't wanna go in. Sorry guys, I haven't really updated you guys, but because we still had to do some custom work. But as you can see, the front struts are in. He's just mounting the one shock. The bolt is being stubborn. I don't know why. Hey, is today going to be the day? Today is going to be the day, guys. But I remember Reichabach spinning used to be a thing, it was legal, like you could spin. Yeah, it was legal, mm. uh, they got permission from the police. Yeah. They used to spin next to the police station the one time I went there. Yeah. Yeah. So your boy is sleeping over here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah guys. guys, unfortunately we were not happy with the footman. We have to get it lower, so we're gonna fabricate. Do some some customization on the, the rear shocks so you can go on. Yeah man, that's the idea. So your boy has to sleep yeah. But it's fine, you will sleep here more often. <laughs> you will you will probably come visit us. Yeah. Yay! Yay! You wanna speak to the
lang ha It's gonna make me a happy man for Fez Yeah Hopefully I get a wheel before Fez Keep it locked guys yeah. Support my boy Lorenzo over here Yeah, be true Be true guys Yeah Guys a great job awards Won't lie I'm a happy man today Finally gonna get my transit Away people of the vlog, we just finished welding the new shock shit this thing is off. So it's not the neatest. It's done because this this round thing this is now the second time it's well so it had to be cut and then rewelded. So yeah, at least it's done. I did now, you know. Hey, eh? we are. We. <laughs> See you now. Yeah. He also just wants to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Away, people of the vlog. So, unfortunately, we ran into issues and we still busy with the Baki. I'm sure my father's tired of the Baki now. It's like, fuck it. <laughs> but, anyways, as you can see, we're making plan B for. The brackets, it never worked out. The ones that we use with the the coilovers, it never worked out. So we're doing plan B right now. We're gonna weld, make another plate and weld like a bolt on it. And I think we're gonna draw through the the body, the body of the the back. Here. So yeah, let's see what happens. People of the vlog, we finally done. Hopefully this is the last time and we won't run into issues anymore. But let me show you the bags quickly. So that's how it looks now. We got rid of that bulky mount that we used from the coil over. Just put a plate, welded a nut on the top and it goes right into the body. Yeah, let me put on this wheel. Your boy wants to go. Away people of the vlog, we just finished now. Uh, we're just gonna go for it, guys. Hopefully, all goes well. We have the remote. Oh, yeah. Dan? Are you excited? Mm, this out. Yeah, bro. Does it feel nice? <laughs> people of the block so we managed to get this phone connected as you can see and we set a few presets are you happy man do you want to close off the vlog <laughs> yeah thanks guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're happy customer yeah we we finally done i'm sure he's stuck of us he's been here since yesterday he slept by my house so yeah man i'm glad we could we finished this, it was a struggle, a lot of fabrication, it wasn't just plug and play, but we made it work, it's in now, and it looks sweet. Hey, and off he goes, our first bad customer. Uh, yeah, next time you know where to come to, LS Garage. Okay, okay. <laughs> here yeah, for any of your suspension needs and sound installs you know where to come to are you on the end of the video hey it looks sweet <laughs> and that sound is cock easter huh yeah it's so sweet <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> 